They both buy school. They do weird things in their house. And young men have left their house screaming to get away from them in their mentorship. Meek Mills. <laughs> Bashir Gray. Left that house screaming. August the only one that stayed and I guess he was really sick. He needed a dog. False wax that I, one I walked in on. Who'd you walk in on? Him and Dwayne Martin. It appears that Jada Pinkett Smith is once again causing a stir by revealing some shocking details about her husband. Allegedly, she has disclosed that Will engaged in a freak-off session and has been involved in an affair with Diddy for quite some time. This revelation adds a new layer of complexity to the already messy Diddy situation. No one anticipated Jada would publicly address this matter. Brace yourselves for the fallout. 2016, you and Will decided that you were going to live completely separate lives. Yes. It was not a divorce on paper, right. but it was a divorce. divorce. Jada Pinkett Smith took a break from the public eye recently, leading many to speculate she might be turning over a new leaf and refraining from humiliating her husband. However, she surprised everyone by hinting at the validity of rumors regarding Diddy and Will's alleged extramarital activities. This revelation adds a new twist to the ongoing gossip surrounding their relationship. Jada has often faced accusations of being Will's biggest critic, so her acknowledgement of these rumors is particularly surprising. The speculation about Diddy and Will's relationship has long been a topic of conversation in the industry, given their stature and the persistent rumors that have circulated for years. For the longest time, there was a swirl of conflicting opinions regarding Will's low-key presence, largely due to our perception of his seemingly blissful marriage with Jada, presenting them as the epitome of Hollywood's power couple. Their enduring 25-year union was revered as a model relationship. However, the unfolding saga of their entanglement shed light on the intricacies of their marriage, revealing complexities far beyond our previous assumptions. The spectacle of their entangled drama severely tarnished their public persona. It was the moment when the facade of their marriage started to crumble, unveiling deeper fissures. Speculation soared, suggesting that Will might be involved in a clandestine relationship, with Jada serving as a mere cover-up. This conjecture seemed to offer an explanation for Jada's alleged infidelity. And as whispers turned into clamor, it became impossible to overlook the complexity of the situation. What is the craziest rumor you have ever heard about your family? That Will and I are swingers. That's the oh, yeah, craziest wasn't that kind of recent, one. actually? It's, 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 it's constant. Really? And I'm like, yo, I wish. Damn. <laughs> Alexis Arquette was among the pioneers in shedding light on certain incidents, notably when she disclosed that Will's initial relationship with Sherry Zampino came to an end supposedly because Sherry discovered him in a compromising situation with another man, as noted by Alexis. When Jada eventually reveals her sexual orientation and her spouse, who acted as her cover, acknowledges that his previous marriage dissolved when she stumbled upon him being involved with his benefactor, Benny Medina, then I might consider lending an ear to their story. Although Alexis, as Will's first wife, may have received compensation for her silence, she wasn't the sole individual to disclose such matters. It wasn't long before Trisha Paytas accused Will of coercing male dancers into intimate encounters, further adding to the controversy. Jaguar Wright stepped forward to unveil the truth about Will's long-standing pattern of engaging in affairs with numerous young men within the industry. According to her assertions, he disguises these interactions as mentorship opportunities, only to allegedly coerce the individuals into relationships that result in lasting trauma. When they was busy partying with the Martins, then they switched over from the Martins to uh, uh, Mark Anthony and Jennifer Lopez, and then the kiss happened on Hawthorne, her show got canceled. The recent discussions about men causing trauma make you wonder about another high-profile individual who's been accused of traumatizing his girlfriend. Yes, we're referring to Diddy. The fact that Diddy and Will Smith have been longtime friends adds an extra layer of suspicion to the whole scenario. It's hard not to notice the uncanny timing of both Diddy and Will being embroiled in controversies involving younger individuals. In Diddy's case, there have been numerous allegations of him engaging in inappropriate relationships with younger men, with the added scrutiny of a federal investigation. It's all too coincidental, isn't it? In the year 2013, rumors swirled that federal agencies were probing into allegations regarding Diddy's involvement with underage individuals. During a debriefing with federal investigators, 
James Roseman, formerly an iMusic manager turned notable figure, found himself under scrutiny. Reports suggested that Roseman was questioned about the preferences of various entertainers, notably delving into whether Sean Diddy Combs engaged in inappropriate relationships with minors. In a filing submitted to the U.S. District Court, a prosecutor delved into the personal preferences of entertainers, notably probing into the intimate relationships of Sean Combs with underage individuals. However, despite the investigation yielding no conclusive findings, lingering suspicions persist regarding Diddy's involvement with young boys. Notably, even his bodyguard Jean echoed similar sentiments. Jean even exposed Diddy's secret relationship with Meek Mills. Everybody kind of knew back in the day that Meek Mills and Puff was a little too friendly Anytime two rappers or two people in the industry come dressed up alike on more than one occasion, they, my man, listen here, man. My dudes in Philly, I got some real strong dudes in Philly. They don't play that shit. To see that Meek Mills, one of the street guys that came out of there, got caught up in this Holly weird shit. Given his consistent involvement in questionable circumstances with young men, it's natural to speculate if there's more than meets the eye. Could there be some clandestine rendezvous happening behind closed doors? Will's reputation seems to attract swirling rumors like a magnet with Diddy not too far behind. Let's not forget Wendy Williams, who didn't hesitate to throw some shade Diddy's way, insinuating that his parade of girlfriends and baby mamas might be a smokescreen for his true inclinations. While Wendy didn't present concrete evidence of Diddy's preferences, her gossip stirred up quite a storm. Diddy retaliated fiercely, attempting to oust Wendy from her job and nearly succeeding in derailing her career altogether. And there's more to the story. Diddy's ex-bodyguard, Jean, has also revealed some juicy details about Diddy's encounters with men. But this isn't merely about two individuals discreetly exploring Hollywood's underground scene. It seems we could be witnessing a collaborative effort here. This isn't mere conjecture. There's evidence of these two men engaging in some rather unconventional behavior together. Though unconventional to some, it appears to be a regular occurrence for them. For quite some time, there had been persistent rumors surrounding Will's fidelity, despite his seemingly solid marriage to Jada. However, Jada herself eventually revealed that she and Will had been quietly separated for an extended period, shedding light on the tumultuous state of their relationship before they officially parted ways. The rumor mill on the streets has been buzzing about Miami's youth scene being closely tied to Diddy, almost like he's the face of it all. It's become something of an open secret, shedding light on whatever was brewing between Diddy and Will for quite some time. However, it appears Diddy wasn't the sole focus of Will's alleged extramarital escapades. According to Bilal, Will's former assistant and close friend, there's some scandalous gossip swirling around involving Will and actor Dwayne Martin. Bilal spilled the details during an interview with Tasha Kay, recounting how he stumbled upon Will and Dwayne engaging in intimate activities in Dwayne's dressing room. What seemed like a wild ride with Will's entanglement with Dwayne Martin is just the beginning, folks. Brace for impact because it seems like there's a whole freak fest extravaganza allegedly happening with none other than Diddy. Cassie didn't hold back in her lawsuit, serving up some piping hot tea that suggests there's more than meets the eye. And just when you thought things couldn't get crazier, Jada Pinkett Smith steps in with revelations of her own, hinting at her husband's alleged involvement in some rather scandalous affairs. But hold up, we can't skip over Jean, Diddy's bodyguard, who's also got some juicy details to spill. Here is what Jean revealed about Cassie's accusations. At one point, you and him was real cool. Do you believe everything she's saying about these freak sessions? Listen, that girl went through some tumultual that she never thought that she would ever have to go through being in the music business. Do you understand that? I've I've been next to people who are top in the game, in the music business, and they have said to me, yo, I had a lot of to get to this position. They have said that. So I can imagine what that little girl went through with old boy. She ain't lying that thing. In the realm of marathon sessions, Gene, Will, and Diddy weren't merely testing the waters. They were fully immersed. These intense sessions extended over days, showcasing their commitment. Gene, known for his candid revelations, didn't hold back when discussing Diddy. Credit where it's due, he certainly knows how to stir up some compelling gossip during interviews. 
Recently, Gene dropped a bombshell. Diddy wasn't merely a bystander in these marathon escapades with Cassie, he was an active participant. Allegedly, Diddy even provided Cassie with a comprehensive checklist outlining his preferences for the sessions. What's more, these weren't preferences tailored for Cassie's enjoyment, but rather for his own satisfaction. Let's delve into the disturbing details of these alleged incidents involving Diddy and Cassie. According to Cassie's lawsuit, it appears that the situation was quite outrageous. Cassie claimed that Diddy consistently provided her and the escort with significant quantities of drugs, including ecstasy, marijuana, and alcohol, both before and during the encounters. This excessive substance intake enabled her to detach herself from the distressing experiences. Moreover, it became routine for Cassie to receive intravenous fluids in the aftermath of these encounters to counteract the effects of the substances. Additionally, she stated that she was obligated to wear lingerie for these encounters, and Diddy insisted on her wearing white nail polish to contrast with the skin color of the black men he hired for intimacy. She alleged that he had a habit of documenting their intimate encounters mentioned in the court records, along with orchestrating Cassie's involvement. Involvement. Diddy would employ various devices like his phone, laptop, and tablet to capture Cassie's interactions with the hired escort, treating these encounters as personal projects. He meticulously adjusted lighting arrangements, even rearranging candles to craft the perfect video frames. While Cassie promptly deleted any intimate media from her own devices, Diddy openly stated his collection of numerous videos featuring Cassie during these encounters. Meanwhile, Gene just revealed how Diddy blackmails people in the industry. I believe it's a lot of rappers, a lot of music people, a lot of executives that could not say no. Cat Williams say, you just gotta say no to Diddy. And it's a lot of people that couldn't say no. And they probably on tape because they couldn't say no. Well, it seems like Diddy might be stirring up some serious drama if the rumors are true. According to an insider, Jada not only suspects that her husband and Diddy had a more than friendly relationship, but she also thinks they might have taken it to another level with what they call freak-offs. It's said that Will and Diddy used to throw these exclusive parties where only they were allowed, keeping outsiders at bay. Now, Jada's connecting the dots and speculating that these parties might have been ground zero for some steamy escapades. It's a bit surprising that Jada would air out her husband's laundry like this, but then again, she's never shied away from causing a stir. Seems like it's just another day in the Smith household. Interestingly, fans refrained from faulting Jada for unveiling Will this time. Instead, they expressed understanding with comments suggesting insights into their dynamic. Speculations arose about Jada's entanglement, possibly a reaction to Will's own indiscretions. Some even humorously pointed to the prevalence of industry parties and the likelihood of stumbling upon unexpected scenes. This debacle, though messy, seems destined to spawn new entries in the Dictionary. After the highly publicized altercation between Chris Rock and Will Smith, the esteemed actor finds himself embroiled in another controversy. However, this latest episode isn't just any ordinary scandal. It's causing significant concerns about Will's standing in Hollywood. Bilal, who claims to be Smith's former personal assistant, made a startling accusation during a widely circulated interview with Tasha Kay, an internet personality known for her sensational interviews. Bilal, who is promoting a book he wrote about Smith titled Will Smith Demonic Circle, dropped the bombshell during the interview. So three minutes later after them telling me, hey, you got eyes on Will, you got, we, we, we need him to come watch this. So I'm running all over the, the, the studio. He's not in his dressing room. I go to the cafeteria. I'm like, well, but I see his car there. I'm like, where's this guy at? So now I'm holding Dwayne down too. So I have the keys to his dressing room. So I'm like, yo, and they're calling my, my they, I'm on walkie talkie and they're calling my cell phone. Yo, we need to get Will here. And I'm like, yo, kind of down like I'm trying to find is like this is this is unlike him. Bilal's recent guest appearance on Tasha K's platform perfectly fits into his anticipated promotional approach. Shockingly, Bilal divulged that he personally witnessed Will allegedly engaging in sexual relationships with other men, boldly confessing to catching him in the act. The unfolding drama has rippled through the corridors of Hollywood, leaving many in disbelief. Bilal recounts an unexpected encounter when he stumbled upon the 55-year-old men in Black Star Martin engaged in a compromising act in Martin's dressing room. He said, I swear swung open the door to Dwayne's dressing room, only to witness a scene that caught me completely off guard. There was Dwayne standing, and Will bent over the couch. It was quite the sight. Bilal's recent remarks have reignited speculation surrounding
surrounding the dynamic between Will Smith and Dwayne Martin. This isn't the initial instance where their association has come under scrutiny. In 2016, amidst Dwayne Martin's financial struggles, whispers of a close bond between Smith and Martin emerged during bankruptcy proceedings. The trustee overseeing the case stumbled upon personal media on Martin's laptop, hinting at an unusually intimate connection. Rumors even surfaced, suggesting that Will and Jada Pinkett Smith might have extended assistance to the Martins during their monetary turmoil. It was a couch and um, Will was bent over on the couch and Dwayne was standing up, killing him. Murder, like murder. Following Bilal's interview, the situation exploded across social media platforms, particularly Twitter, where discussions about Will Smith dominated. Dwayne Martin, 58, the renowned actor who was previously married to actress Tisha Campbell from 1996 to 2020, found himself in the spotlight. Hailing from Brooklyn, Martin is best known for his roles in LA's Finest and All of Us. He has had notable collaborations with Smith on various projects, including two episodes of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air in 1993 and 1995, as well as three episodes of the 2022 reboot, Bel Air. Additionally, Martin has appeared in The Paul Reiser Show, the films White Men Can't Jump and Scream 2, and starred in the music video for Boys Two Men's 1994 hit, I'll Make Love to You. Bila Al, who purportedly worked on a Hollywood set, asserted that he was tasked with closely monitoring Will, leading to an alleged incident where he purportedly witnessed actors engaging in sexual activity. Bilal recounted, I witnessed various acts, including one I stumbled upon. He recounted searching diligently and noticing Smith's car parked in its usual spot, but the actor was nowhere to be found. Bila Al disclosed that producers from the undisclosed project repeatedly contacted him via walkie-talkie and phone, urging him to locate the actor and bring him back to the set. Bila Al, unexpectedly unexpectedly holding the keys to Martin's dressing room, stumbled upon a surprising sight, two actors caught in an unexpected encounter. He likened the moment to being frozen like a deer in headlights, expressing his shock. Jada Pinkett Smith had recently revealed that they had been separated for seven years. From the year 2016, which is seven years ago now, <laughs> yes. y'all have been apart. Yeah. Will once praised Jada as the epitome of desire, suggesting she was the woman everyone coveted. Tasha Kay, intrigued by Bilal's perspective, probed further, asking if Jada had ever commented on Will Smith's anatomy. Bilal responded with a metaphor, implying that if a woman is accustomed to a certain size and you don't meet that expectation, there's little you can do to satisfy her desires. Jada was the woman that everybody wanted, and Will needed that validation to have that type of woman. You saw her say that Will Smith had a small Oh, I am saying to you, if a woman is used to something the size of a baby leg and you come in with a pinky toe, there's nothing you can do to please her. You can buy her 80 cars, you can get her 80 private jets. If she's itching for that baby leg. After Jada Smith openly discussed their marital separation, Will Smith swiftly replied with his reflections in an email published in the New York Times on October 14th. Will admitted that Jada Smith's recent remarks about their relationship acted as a wake-up call for him. He recognized her resilience, intelligence, and compassion more profoundly than before. In his email to the publication, the King Richard star confessed that being with someone for more than half of your life can lead to emotional blindness, causing one to overlook the hidden nuances and subtle beauties of their partner. Jada Smith, during an interview with Hoda Kotb on the Today Show shared insights from her revealing memoir. She disclosed that her marriage to Smith encountered a significant turning point seven years prior. Reflecting on the year 2016, she admitted feeling exhausted from their efforts to sustain the relationship. She acknowledged that both she and Smith were ensnared in illusions of who they thought the other should be, contributing to the strain in their union. She reiterated her commitment, expressing, I vowed that we would never find a reason to part ways. No matter the challenges, we'd navigate through them. During an interview with Heat magazine, an insider revealed that Will hadn't consented to his wife delving into their personal life in her book. Allegedly, he felt increasingly emasculated. The informant added that while Will acknowledged the importance of strategic decisions given their $400 million stakes, he was deeply hurt and frustrated. This situation seemed to be the breaking point for him. He contemplated divorce, longing for an authentic connection. Regarding Jada, he remarked, that chapter is closed. During the interview with Hoda Kotb, Jada Smith faced questions about the ongoing rumors circling the Hollywood power couple. Cotby remarked that the couple seemed to attract a plethora of speculations, ranging from claims of an open marriage to being swingers, accusations of homosexuality, and various other wild theories. Cotby then inquired of Jada whether any of these rumors held truth, and if such persistent gossip bothered her. Jada calmly responded, refuting all allegations, stating that while she comprehends the source of misunderstandings, none of it holds any truth. I think just not being ready yet. Mm. 
still trying to figure out between the two of us yeah. how to be in partnership, right? And in regards to how do we present that to people? In September 2016, the late transgender actress and activist Alexis Arquette, who sadly passed away at the age of 47, made a statement in a Facebook post from January of the same year. In her post, she claimed that both Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith were hiding their homosexuality. This assertion came to light after Pinkett Smith garnered attention for announcing her boycott of the Academy Awards. The post suggested that only when Jada openly acknowledges her orientation and her husband Will Smith acknowledges the end of his previous marriage due to involvement with his alleged sugar daddy Benny Medina would Arquette consider their opinions valid. However, Jada Pinkett Smith is reportedly contemplating legal action against allegations that her husband engaged in a romantic relationship with a male co-star. During her recent interview on Power 105.1's The Breakfast Club, she vented her frustrations, asserting that they would pursue legal action. Drawing a clear line between opinions and outright fabrications, she emphasized the seriousness of the situation. Additionally, she addressed the issue with TMZ, vehemently denying the authenticity of the story and labeling it as entirely concocted. It seems there have been ongoing insinuations regarding Will Smith's reality, and Bilal's statements seem to lend credence to these speculations. The online video showcasing Bilal's allegations against Smith swiftly gained traction, spreading like wildfire across social media platforms. Fans were left stunned by the explosive accusations directed at the King Richard star. Fans expressed disbelief, questioning the fairness of Smith's potential lawsuit, especially considering their purported open relationship. They pointed out the double standard, highlighting the hypocrisy of condemning Smith for involvement with Dwayne while overlooking similar actions involving Jaden's friend. Fans also alluded to past events, urging others not to forget Smith's previous actions towards Jaden. Some remarked that such is the toll one pays for fame, the public scrutiny penetrating every aspect of their personal life. By opting for fame, they willingly subjected themselves to this reality, now compelled to confront the public's intimate knowledge of their existence. It served as a stark reminder that the allure of Hollywood isn't always synonymous with blissful contentment. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos.